Good evening, folks. I hope you're all feeling that Friday night feeling. Just finished lectures and everything for the week. So back to the painting bench. Order a takeaway. <laughs> Cheeky coffee book. <laughs> and um, do some painting. I think you might have seen this in the last episode. It was looking a bit worse for wear. It still is to some extent. But um, I'm just giving it a lick of paint. It's the um, Huey Hog for the Vietnam War. It's just a 28mm model. And I've gone for Russian uniform World War Two by Vallejo. Can't place exactly what colour I want it to be. The Corgi model that I have of exactly the same plane is more of a dark green, but that isn't um, definitive proof that it's meant to be a dark green colour. I'm fairly happy with this one, especially after a wash gets put on it. I've um, the windows were in a really sorry state so they'd been frosted over by the glue and things so I've just gone in and painted them dark blue and blue but on further notice I'm not actually happy with this I'm gonna paint back to the dark blue and do more of um, some light blue streaks as I've done here just keep it I went a bit over the top on the other paints so less is more here and with the uh, wings I'm gonna go black and yellow on the edges just try and get it just right. So that's a work, some work in progress, but um, one more piece for the Vietnam War project. And over here then, I've got two infantry squads of NVA, so North Vietnamese, Vietnamese Army. The figures are quite nice. As everyone said, after they've cleaned up and you primed them, they look business then. So this weekend I'm going to hopefully burn through these two squads, paint them up. I'm not going to go green for these fellas. I think the uniforms vary quite a lot over the war. Because you've got the Viet Cong and then the more regular North Vietnamese army. And they've all got an amalgamation of uniforms. If we were doing Viet Cong, say, we'd be in the black uniforms. Just Well, I say uniforms, it'd just be their civilian clothes clothing that they would have worn in the, well, working in the rice paddies and things, but um, I think the regulars were actually issued a proper uniform. So I'll let you know how I get on with the painting, hoping to crack on with them. And before I leave you guys, I just want to sh show you some terrain that I just got through this week. Mel the terrain toot off, YouTube was getting a rid of some of his old stuff. Bear with me whilst I just move these over here. So, got a little box from him. Show you what's in here. So he's selling some of his defensive terrain, so things like sandbags, tank traps, barbed wire. So I've got a whole load of him. A good price as well. Some of these I might have to do, like this piece now, I'm not going to be able to use that for the Zulu or anything unless I trim off the Laskin and the futuristic stuff. But um, after a little bit of work it'll be perfect for the Vietnam War especially. So you see much more of the same, these are the tank traps. I'll show you one of those. Hoping to get a tripod for my camera just so that you don't get motion sickness when you're watching my videos. So, sorry about that, <laughs> but thank you for sticking with me. Uh, my favourite piece from this box, of course, is a huge emplacement, which will be the core of my Vietnam War outposts for the Americans. Really like that. You can uh, chuck in a machine gun or a mortar pit or something. Really cool. So, thanks Mel for sending that my way. Definitely put that terrain to, to use, to good use. So that's just a little update from me folks. I'm going to crack on with the North Vietnamese. I'm gonna try and burn through two sections of those. They seem fairly straightforward to paint. I'm going to do base colours, wash, maybe a dry brush, you know, um, the only new thing there is painting like um, Asian flesh, so I'm going to just have to have a little video 
just double check if there's like a good way to paint and just have good results there. <coughs> but that's about it. We'll do that this weekend. I want to paint some more Romans up and I'm going to put up a few things to sell just to make money for the new Vietnam War project. But that's about it folks. It's been really good seeing your videos and see you next time. Ta-da.